Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth. And for today's episode of Suki Nihon, we're looking at episode 15 of season 1 of Gravity Falls, The Deep End. Pretty much, it is the hottest day in Gravity Falls. Like, literally, like the wax stand in the opening is melting, squirrels are catching fire, that type of thing. So, coincidentally, the pool is opening! So, here's what happens. Um, the, ma the main story, the A story, is that Mabel meets a boy named Mermando, who is secretly a merman. That is his horrible secret. And she vows to help Mermando escape. There's actually, like, several different plots going on in this one. You have Mabel and Mermando. You have um, Dipper who has volunteered to be a uh, lifeguard because he wants to hang out with Wendy, who's also a lifeguard. So he's trying to protect the pool equipment. Otherwise, um, his uh, boss, I forgot what the guy's name is. He's like Mr. Pool something or other. And um, he's pretty much, his design is kind of similar to, say, George Licker, if you've seen that indie cartoon. Um, kind of like the, uh, he's the, like that stiff upper lip, always angry, high blood pressure character that you would see in John Krafalski type shows. You know, like Ren and Stimpy, the guy's always like, Gah! you can see the veins bulging, that type of thing. Oh, Mr. Pulchak, that's the name of the guy. And, um, the other plot has to do with, uh, Grunkle Stan trying to get the perfect... Um, lounge, lounge chair by the pool, but Gideon keeps beating him to it. There's some pretty good jokes in here, like there's a thing where, um, kind of an aside about people who, um, d misbehave end up in pool jail, and you don't want to end up in the solitary part of that, which, by the way, the, the ending sting has the person who, in that little joke, is in the solitary part of pool jail, just being there throughout the entirety of the summer, even to a part where it snows in Gravity Falls, which um, means that that particular kid is there both during and after the last episode of Gravity Falls. So that says something about the series. Although at this time we were just like, oh, that's a joke or whatnot. Why would it snow during there? But now we know because of, uh, I think up to like when you get to like season two episode, I think 17 or 18 leading up to the whole weird Mageddon thing. But yeah, I thought it was pretty great. Um, <sighs> there, like there's some spots in it. Like there's a part there where, uh, where Stan is trying to torment um, Gideon with shiny objects. He's like, yes, burn the child! With such great enthusiasm. That line read is great. Also, um, Seuss. Oh, Seuss has a plot too where he, um, Dipper and Wendy trick him into thinking that the pool ducks are real and need to be freed. So he's all like, the inflatable pool duck revolution is upon us! There's some great jokes in here. There's a part there where Mermando explains how he ended up in that public public pool, and he's all like, and then the wolves came. And there's a part there, because he breathes water, that eventually um, Mabel concocts a plan and gets him out. And um, there's a part there where Dipper ends up giving him reverse CPR, which is pretty much just swigging water and then uh, forcing the water into his throat. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Um, overall, pretty funny little episode. Um, it is kind of filler, but there's this really great visual gag where uh, Mabel does the whole run-up from Free Willy. And the whole Mermando character is pretty hilarious, too. You'll hear that same voice with other characters in here, and it's... He comes... He shows up in, um... He shows up and is mentioned in other stuff later on in the series. Pretty funny. Um, overall... I thought it was a great episode. Um, pretty tight, re tight reasoning and pretty tight jokes. There's a part there where um, 
Mabel is kind of talking about like, oh, and here we are. She's showing Mermondo her family. And she's like, here we are on our legs, you know, because he's half fish. Oh, and here we are skating with our legs and running with our legs. Here's when our legs got tired. And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> It's just really, really spot on. Great episode. Did you like this episode? Hit comment below, you know, hit that, um, hit those comments and tell me what you thought of this episode. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and until the next video comes out, you are now cut up.